What up, Boxing World? JF Sports. So, Golovkin versus Lemieux is gonna happen here anytime soon, right? We got a week. Less than a week, as a matter of fact, from the uh, weigh-in and the uh, fight night. Anyway, give you guys some of my thoughts on the uh, Golovkin-Lemieux face-off with uh, Max Kellerman. I thought he was a very good, but yet awkward, if that makes sense. The reason why I say it was good is because we got somewhat of a candid Golovkin versus the uh, Golovkin that was joking around and saying that he was scared. You know, stuff like that, you know, in the previews, interviews, and press conferences, right? On the other hand, Lemieux on this one, on the face-off, he didn't sound so tough. You know, he didn't sound so... I'm going to shock something or I'm going to beat Golovkin or, you know, things like that. So he was somewhat humble. You know, it's not a bad thing, but I thought he was he was a little humble than, than um, he's been in, uh, in a couple weeks, right? But I understand, you know, some says that, you know, as we get closer to the fight, obviously fighters get a little nervous, you know what I'm saying, because... All the stuff that they say. And uh, on the other hand, I thought it, it was interesting when both parties, Golovkin and his trainer, Lemieux and his trainer, said pretty much and agreed that the fight wouldn't go no past four rounds. That the fight will be over in four rounds via knockout. You know? It's very interesting. You know, I, I can't wait for this fight to happen now. <laughs> It's, um, I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys didn't see the, the face-off. You guys watch it and you guys can make your own judgment. But um, Golovkin had said some things um, regarding uh, David Lemieux that he said, because uh, Max Kellerman asked him, you know, if you follow Lemieux, uh, Lemieux's fights. He said, not really, only uh, the last couple of fights. And that he said... He understands that Lemieux has power, that he's, you know, he's got uh, a good punching um, power and ability to uh, knock people out. Not verbatim, but that's the sense. He, you know, he, he knows that he's facing pretty much a, a tough guy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got from Golovkin. He knows that, but I don't think that Golovkin is afraid at all or skeptical whether he'll win this one you know what i'm saying I, I didn't get that vibe you know the way i got it from Golovkin is just pretty much just another fight for him you know, especially abel sanchez when he said yeah you know at the end of the day you know Golovkin is is a champion and he i don't see it going past four rounds you know he's just, he's gonna knock him out pretty much you know he's very confident um i think that david lemieux may be a little um, worried now that we get closer to the fight. I maybe not. I don't know. But that's just how I got it. He wasn't as as confident and as cocky as he was in the previous conferences and, and interviews, like I said. But hey you don't know. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Maybe Lemieux would be the first one to to uh, ever beat Golovkin. But I have to agree with them. I don't think the, the fight would go all 12 rounds. You know what I'm saying? It might go past four rounds, but I don't think it would go 12 rounds. You know, I think these two guys, even though they're gentlemen, you know, even though they don't talk a lot of crap to each other, not very much. I think deep down inside, both fighters, both Lemieux and Golovkin, really want to knock each other out. You know what I'm saying? When Max Kellerman said that, you know, are you, get, are you going to knock out... Um, David Lemieux and Golovkin said I hope so and David Lemieux on the other hand said I will try you know what I'm saying versus saying yes I'll knock his ass out you know what I'm saying so that's the vibe that I got from Lemieux before like I said in the press conferences and interviews that he would actually you know be very very confident in, to knock out Golovkin but yeah we're close to that we're close to the fight and um, it's game time you know that's what when it's all said and done, 
all the talking is pretty much done. This is like, the, like I said, their their um, face off, and it was somewhat awkward though. You know what I'm saying? Like when Lemieux was talking to Max Keller, man, he didn't really. He would tend to look down or something like that, and the same with Golovkin, he would look down and and you know what I'm saying stuff like that. I guess that's just normal. I mean, you know, it's just that. Damn, being in that room though, if I was Golovkin or Lemieux, you know, it was kind of awkward, you know what I'm saying? I think these fighters, both Golovkin and Lemieux, would rather just get it over inside the ring than all these face off. But we all understand, you got to promote the fight and, and so forth. But I thought it was a very interesting sit down, face off type guy. I think the most, the, the, the person that was really relaxed in that, in that room was Abel Sanchez, man. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. But um, I think that, uh, you know, Abel Sanchez knows his fighter, knows what Golovkin's capable of. Uh, even though he can't really express himself in words, I think his his resume and his boxing ability speaks for itself. Now, on the other hand, David Lemieux is hungry. You know what I'm saying? He wants this. So that's a dangerous opponent. You know, when you have a guy that it's, what did Max Kellerman say? Between 7 and 1, 16 to 1, underdog, right? When you're underdog like that, just like any other opponents, that's how much they want it more. You know what I'm saying? That's how much they want to, to win more, you know, when they're that much underdog. Hell, David Lemieux said, hell, I could be 100 to 1 underdog. I don't care about the numbers. I don't check on those. I don't, I don't pay attention to those, you know what I'm saying? And that's normal, you know what I'm saying? But um, yes, indeed, David Lemieux is a good puncher. He's a heavy puncher. He's a hard puncher, you know what I'm saying? Let's put that all in the mix. But um, you got to get those shots in. But the thing that worries me also is because Golovkin, even though he's a knockout artist and clearly can stop his opponent at, you know, at any given time, right? Um, he, he does intend to get hit, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't have the best defense. And on the other hand, that's where uh, David Lemieux can capitalize, can actually take advantage of. Because, you know, when you get, when um, Golovkin fought Monroe, even though he knocked him down and nearly, clearly knocked him out on the earlier rounds, Golovkin, you know, went a couple more rounds before he actually got the stoppage. So, you know, if like just like Max Kellerman was saying, if you were taking those punches like how you took it from Monroe, um, from from um, Lemieux, then it would be a different story. And Golovkin said yes, it would be a different story. But I um, but I think that Golovkin knows the um, the danger of of him getting hit by Lemieux. You know, Lemieux is is a very solid puncher. Um, but like I said, you gotta get those shots in. Now I don't think it's impossible for Lemieux to get those shots in. But he just gotta, you know, hit him where he actually uh, puts uh, Golovkin down. Now, on the other hand, David Lemieux also said that um he's not he's not worried about you know Golovkin's resume, his past fights, and that he understands you know Golovkin and his stance and um you know as a champion. But on the other hand, said that he basically. Lemieux and his trainer basically said that, you know, they don't think that Golovkin has ever faced, and that Max Kellerman also said that. I don't think that they ever faced somebody as heavy puncher, as a hard puncher like, like David Lemieux in the past. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's got a tough guy in front of him, and he's willing to put on a show. But, man, I wish it was already Saturday. But, you know, Golovkin's attitude changed, though, man. You know, that that's what... I was a little interested because on the previous, like I said, you, you see Golovkin joking around like a kid and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm scared. I'm 1% scared, blah, blah, blah. And David Lee said, you know, there will be blood and and that, um, you know, I don't want to hear no excuses. Um, you know, people will be speechless. You know, those articles that came out in interviews uh, after the fight, they said that people will be speechless. But... You know, on the other hand, I expected more, so to speak, of Lemieux to be more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? To be more confrontational. To actually taunt Golovkin. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I don't know. 
uh, for instance, you know, I would have loved him for David Lemieux to say something like, I will knock him out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it would be four rounds, but I'm the one that's going to be a winner. Golovkin will be surprised. Golovkin will get knocked out by me. You know what I'm saying? I will do whatever I can, and and uh, it's a guaranteed knockout. You know what I'm saying? Uh, versus saying that Lemieux said that, uh, you know, I, I will try. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a humble um, statement to try to knock a guy out. You know what I'm saying? So, but they said it's just going to be, uh, what do you say, David and Goliath, but uh, Max Kellerman... Uh, Corrected, let me said it's actually uh, David and Golovkin. <laughs> so uh, overall, the tone of the whole uh, face-off, so to speak, sit down face-off with Max Kellerman and their trainers. Um, I would say that it was it was gentlemen, but yet state um, both fighters made made statement. Yeah. It, it it was a it it was a useful I shouldn't say useful but it was like a, you know let get this let's get this um, face off done but I want every boxing fans in the world to know that I'm gonna knock I'm gonna knock him out you know what I'm saying that's from Golovkin and Lee you know what I'm saying so um, not much confrontation there you know not much tra trash talking. But I think both fighters got their point across. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for a knockout. That's for damn sure. So October the 17th, that's Saturday, next Saturday. Way in is going to be Friday, obviously. They're going to be fighting in the Madison Square Garden in New York. And as Abel Sanchez pointed out, 15,000 tickets already sold. So people are anticipating this, anticipa uh, anticipating this fight. And obviously all of us are not going to miss it. You know? So, yeah, it is on pay-per-view, though, so it's not for free. So, too bad. If you guys didn't, you know what I'm saying, um, not going to be able to watch the fight, uh, maybe stay tuned and maybe I can get some links and stuff like that and I can give you guys later on after the uh, after the fight is over. But, um, but yeah, give you guys my little thoughts on the whole thing. I, I thought it was good. You know what I'm saying? It was a good face-off, but overall, it was a gentleman, but yet, they got both of their statements, you know, both fighters' statements uh, across. You know, so you guys let me know. Uh, like I said, I'll put the the video link in the description so y'all check them out. And um, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.